This is the sad news. It was a black uh, Sunday for all MPFL players, all Nigerians, uh, following the death of Ifine George. You know, mm. the NFL, MPFL, the LMC, all of them have been, you know, in condolences to the player. It, it, it wasn't. It was something that happened so suddenly. You know, on Friday that was when they said they were going to close camp because you know. Uh, yeah, break. Rangers gave the players a break Absolutely, because a of break. the uh, mm -hmm. enforced uh, yeah. suspension of the league. No thanks to COVID nineteen, yeah. yeah. and and of course players who want to go to their families, and since there's no, they're not um, obliged to stay in camp. A lot yeah. of them travel to go see the family. Was. Uh, if I judge, unfortunately, was one of those uh, uh, that decided to travel and uh, met his untimely death uh, in a very, very uh, terrible uh, car crash. Cecilia, you've seen the pictures, uh, very, very gory uh, pictures. And um, for a player like If I judge, a very good player, that uh, Cecilia, uh, I imagine um, a lot of people are going to miss him. His club will miss him. His family will miss him. And, um, and that's why the condolences uh, have been pouring in uh, for Ifeanyi and George. Uh, let's um, take a listen. No, no, let's listen. Let's see some of the uh, messages that have been coming in uh, from across the league, uh, starting with the NFF. Cecilia, we're shocked to hear of the sad passing striker Ifeanyi George and Emmanuel Ogbudas, another player that was involved uh, in the crash. Players of Rangers International. Players, both players were involved in a fatal yeah. auto crash early on Sunday. Our prayers and thoughts are with the families and Rangers management. May the souls rest in peace. That's coming from the NFF. Yeah. And this one coming from a Kogi United says, everyone at Kogi United condole with Rangers International over the death of Ifain George and two other players involved in an accident today. We sympathize with the football community and their immediate families. May their soul rest in peace. This so coming sad. from very, Kogi very uh, United, just more... Um, there's more, there's more the people, there's more clubs, and all that. fans, and journalists. this one is coming from Men's uh, Palace Football Academy, Tayo, mm. and Palace Football Academy is based in Joes. Right. Yeah, it says the staff and management of uh, Men's Palace Football Academy stands it had first condolence to Enugu Rangers who had the loss of their player, if I George, who was involved in a ghastly motor accident earlier today. Our prayers and thoughts are with the family. In this period, Miss Palace, Miss Palace, they're never in a part of the league, but yeah. they know this guy, they know how good he's been. Uh, for Rangers International, Toby Adepoju was a big, or big journalist, yeah. jo journalist, advocate of the Nigerian professional football league. RIP, if I judge, and MPF will miss you. Rest on, I'm heartbroken. I saw this news and immediately I switched off my data. This past week has got a lot on me, not anymore. Yeah, yeah, we understand absolutely. how you feel to be at the budget. Yeah, when things like this happen, you just say, 2020, what's happening? Maybe mm. it should be cancelled totally. More tribute, you know, coming from... Can't uh, cancel it, unfortunately. You can't cancel George. it. But then, Gumbe United. United, that's where this one is coming from. It says, our heartfelt condolences to Rangers International over the death of their player, if I George, whose sad event occurred following a car accident. We also extend some to his bereaved family. May the Almighty give you the fortitude to bear this great loss. Hashtag LMC and of course NFF copying them. Now, Remo stars as, as well. Yeah. We're so devastated to hear about the demise of Rangers International FC striker Ifai George who was involved in an auto crash early today. That was on Sunday. Our prayers are with the family of the deceased Rangers International as well as the football family at large. Yeah. So several uh, Cecilia yeah. LMC as well too yeah. have come uh, with their own uh, you know, condolence and message tributes to um, Ifani Georgia who died uh, in that very, very terrible crash. Yeah, absolutely. Crash and and LMC, say, you know, uh, LMC uh, released this one on behalf mm. of uh, the chairperson of the league management uh, company, Shio Diko. He says they expressed shock at the incident involving some mm. players of Rangers. And they also went on to say that they've contacted the club and the prayers 
are with them and also the family. If you can see pictures of him, you know, some goals he has scored, spectacular goals that uh, Ifai and George has scored for Rangers. And even while they were on the continent, also he also scored some goals. And when you see those goals, his positioning, everyone has been talking about how well he plays. When you have him in front, you know that, yes, you're going to get uh, goals and all that. So it's one kind of player that will surely the, be missed, yes, especially no when uh, the league resumes after this uh, uh, pandemic, you know, and forced a break yeah. that they're on because of COVID-19. He's one oh. player, and you'll be wondering who's going to do most of the scorings. And, you know, the players, most of the players who reacted to the news are still in shock over what happened because mm -hmm. it was, you know, they, they were like on a convoy when they were all traveling and all that. And then... You know, his car was behind, and according to the news, you know, well, those who were also traveling uh, behind him and also in front of him, so he was trying to catch up with the other uh, other players who were also talking and everything. So also, you know, traveling and all that. And yeah, it's well, a sad this one. Is it's hard, hard one, to yeah. take. Uh, it's hard. Um, yeah, it's very very sad to take. Let's let's uh, let's move on uh, from from that now, of course. Uh, Rest in peace uh, to Ifiani George and thoughts and prayers with his family as well as Rangers International as an organization. Let's move on now. Let's uh, see that we're still talking local um, football on the local scene in Nigeria yeah. and um, the postponements of the league. Absolutely. We're still getting reactions uh, from you know, certain uh, journalists, uh, <laughs> Tony Bitoe and... Um, uh, is one of them. Let's, let's listen to what they have to say uh, about the suspension of the Nigerian Professional Football League. This is the, one of the best things to happen to the league. Um, fatigue has started to set in. A lot of persons were tired. They just needed a break. We have about 13 games or they're about to go. This is uh, the, the, the second half of the league and this is the most important part of the league. So I think it came at a better time. Let us relax, you know, take stock and come back and know that it's a marathon, it's not a sprint. There will be disruption, no doubt. Uh, the teams are already in momentum. That would, of course, be altered a bit because of the fact that the league will be going on break. But then this is not the first time we're actually having this. We've seen this happen before in times past. The only thing is, I want to see this league come back. I fear for the worst. This league might not come back if it's not taken. Hopefully, if we're able to get things right and, of course, monitor things, get all the necessary precautions in place, the league would, of course, return. In Europe, where they have also stopped their leagues, there is a lot of online training going on for every player. But then you ask yourself, do we have such facilities here where players are able to monitor via screen? The coaches are able to monitor their players on the screen, what they do every day on their own in terms of training, keeping, their, their, keeping their, their, themselves in shape mentally, physically, so that when the league resumes, there's little time they hit the ground running. But I'm not sure we have such facilities. All right, that's it in between all of them, you know. I hope uh, some of the you know, players on break will be training. They have everything they need to do mm -hmm. so that when it comes back, you know, when the league resumes, they'll be ready. They'll be ready yeah. for it. Okay, still talking about the league and all that, you know, some clubs are busy with some other things. We'll step down from MPFL and go to and the now. Nigeria National League, which is the most important league in the country. But According then, uh, since this year, they've been on breaks. They went on Christmas break, right? And they're yet to resume. And of course, before the COVID-19 sets in, and we will be talking with uh, George Sien, who happens to be the media officer of Vandressa FC. What the club have been doing now that they're on, they've been on break for like forever. And I learned that uh, Vandressa, they've been playing some uh, friendly games and everything.